Over six weeks, I created an electric ducted fan hydroplane, a model of Donald Campbell's famous Bluebird K7. I used everyday materials, such as cardboard and electronics that you usually use in an aeroplane. The aim of all this? To run this Bluebird on Coniston, the original lake where Bluebird K7 actually ran. Having never built anything like this before, I had no idea whether it was going to work. Despite the low odds of success, I was willing to put in the effort to see if I could do it, because occasionally, the work really oh, pays yes. off. My first full day in the Lake District ended with a calm, still evening, which was rather perfect for hydroplanes. Bluebird was all prepared. There was just one problem. I kept knocking the rudder off. Oh no! What? 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 What's what going on? The, the rudder's broken off. Okay, I'm going to need to glue that on. <laughs> it's alright, it'll only take two minutes. Do you think it's going to be okay in the water? Uh, yeah, I don't know. That's one reason why I want to get the boat to with it because it might break off again and then have to uh it'll be just stranded going in one direction <laughs> there goes the rescue crew ladies and gentlemen my father <laughs> hero <laughs> so with the rudder back in place and the rescue boat in position, all was go for the very first test run. Unfortunately, the boat had sucked water into its air intake and been unable to rise up enough to skim across the surface. Okay, I think that might be it for today. Okay, well, good Sorry about that. <laughs> it was a bit low in the water and I think it was splashing over this uh, rear uh, support for the, um, for the sponsor. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. But it's alright. I, I can really easily just put some little shrouds on it. So with that, the day was over. Modifications were indeed made, and another clear day was waited upon. With the rest of the week came rather bad weather. It was uncertain whether a second test would be possible at all. After a full day of grey skies and choppy water, it was decided at the last moment that a second test would go ahead. The rescue boat was upgraded to a crew of two, just in case, and Bluebird was set up with a rather sizeable crowd watching in the background. I wasn't sure whether the modifications would work at all, but as the boat was lowered into the water, I decided that I may as well just go for it. Bluebird. Oh. 
Oh yes. Okay, you might need to start paddling. <laughs> I can't turn it around. <laughs> you can go a lot faster than they can. <laughs> yeah. Owing to a water damaged ESC, Bluebird was stranded in the middle of the lake. I didn't think it would work that well to be honest. That was really good. Thanks. <laughs> I stopped responding, so oh. I'm not sure if the electronics have got wet or something. Yeah, maybe. Uh, I suppose the rudder is nice, isn't it? We don't know. Oh, cool. Okay. Oh. It's, it's alive. It's supposed to be alive. But no rudder. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh, right. Well, <laughs> yeah. Electronic engineers always <laughs> think they know best, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Have you plugged it in? Yes. Is it switched on? Right, so basically it was the uh, the speed controller which connects the battery to the receiver and the other electronics has got wet so it's not actually functioning properly anymore. Thank, Thank you very much for coming. Thank you for the rest of you. I think we hit over about 300 miles an hour, I'm not sure. <laughs> in some ways it's a bit of a shame that the boat didn't do a few more runs, but still, it had worked and that was the main thing. I calculated the speed, which turned out to be about 30 miles an hour. This translates into a scale speed of about 150 miles an hour for a model of this size. I'd say that was a success. This was just one of many projects that I've been wanting to do for a long time. As this one comes to a close, the next one is already being planned. Until then, remember to subscribe so you don't have to miss the next instalment from Project Air. <laughs>